Well, I'm coming to you from underneath the alleged all-new 07 Chevrolet Silverado. And the reason I add this sarcastic catch on the end there is because all-new may be overused in this case. Now, we're about to have a dialogue that gearheads could turn into a half-hour conversation. I want to attempt to be more succinct than that, but make the point on why I'm upset that they have stuck with or refused to make the investment to really go to an all-new system up here, because there are better ways to disconnect the four-wheel drive system in the enhancement of fuel economy and durability. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Because Chevrolet has stuck with its old ways, its disconnect method, even though you're in two-wheel drive now, still leaves this half shaft, this U-joint, and this, one of the most complicated components in the vehicle, the constant velocity joint outboard of this axle, constantly rotating. What I mean is that virtually every inch of every mile that this vehicle goes down the road still has all these systems rotating. Now, I got to have a hunch that most physics experts would instantly figure out that hurts fuel economy. This is called driveline friction loss. It's not good news. And it comes at an interesting contradiction when they're talking about how advanced they think their system is for killing cylinders to improve fuel economy in a steady state environment. Why then do they continue to let all this stuff rotate? Perhaps that's not why they're getting the results they were hoping for. That said, what's it do for durability? Here's a system with a very sophisticated component in it that they let continue to rotate even though it's not making a contribution to traction in the front end. You know, if you want to talk about all new as it applies to a vehicle, let me show you what the current system thinking is if you do make the investment. Okay, let's talk about an investment technology that actually benefits you, the customer, not the manufacturer. What I'm talking about here is that when you use Ford's shift on the fly 4x4 system and put it back into the two-wheel drive mode, you instantly disconnect this U-joint, this half shaft, and really importantly, this constant velocity joint, which improves fuel economy and long-term durability. And I might add, protecting these joints is worth doing. What's it look like out of the vehicle? Well, this is that same system right here in my hand. Now, mounted to the hub area, the wheel area, is this little device right here. This is the actual unit that does the disconnect. Hence, this rotates, the wheel rotates, these components no longer do. That's a lot of torque mass you want out of the way. See, that's what puts me off when Chevrolet calls itself the all-new 07 Chevrolet Silverado. Because under the skin, it actually isn't all-new.